What is going on YouTube family? Welcome back to another episode of Flight for Hype. That's right, baby, where we talk sneakers right. It's your boy CJ coming to you guys with some more sneaker news. Now, when it comes to the sneaker world, there has never been anything new about customizing sneakers. We've seen customizations of, you know, the bread toes that turn into the Chicago's. We've seen people turn new colorways into old colorways and vice versa. We've seen people, you know, airbrush their sneakers. A whole plethora of people have been customizing sneakers for a long time. Now, the idea of a two-way sneaker, that's kind of new in a sense. But if you look at sneakers like the Jordan 1 Union to LA's that were inspired by bringing you know, two different pair of Jordan 1's together and unionizing them to make one full sneaker, then the idea of having a two-way sneaker isn't that brand new. But I think Nike's finally caught up to something new with this sneaker that's coming out in 2021. We're gonna get into it, we're gonna talk about it, but before we do that, you know what we do here, pre-recording turn up, let's jump into it. <laughs> Alright guys, thank you guys so much for tuning in again with your boy, man. We definitely appreciate it. As you guys already know, we are on our 28 day challenge. We basically drop the video every single day for 28 days, ending on December 20th. So we going strong. We just want to give a big shout out to everyone who's been supporting us. Been smashing that like button. Make sure you guys smash that subscribe button as well too. If you love sneakers, sneaker reviews, fashion, and a whole bunch of other sneaker related content, then make sure you come to the Flight for Hype Gang, guys, that should be something new. Flight for hype, gang, real this, man. Anyways, guys, in today's video, we're going to be talking about the Air Jordan 1 that is going to be releasing early 2021. Now, for those who don't know, there is a long list of Air Jordan 1s that are going to be dropping early in the year, but none really turned my head more than the Air Jordan 1 Switch. Yeah, this is a two-way sneaker that's converted from an Air Jordan 1 Low to an Air Jordan 1 High. Now, before we get into the technicalities of how this is happening, let's just talk about the Jordan 1 in general. Now, this one is a pretty solid colorway, very simple tones. You got your white, smooth leather on your toe box and your middle panel. And covering the rest of the sneaker is a nice gray suede. And it looks like a really nice suede as well too. And as you see on the front of the toe cap there, you do have an extra Nike sign which I believe is in a navy blue. Now, getting into a two-way sneaker, this is nothing very brand new. We've seen kind of some sneakers kind of hint to having a convertible top, I guess to say, with the Air Jordan 1. But can you just imagine like having your Air Jordan 1 and you could just like zip off the top collar piece and like throw it on as a low? Like I think that's pretty, pretty dope. Now, like I was saying, the colorway is very cool. I think it's a very chill colorway. I think this is a great way to introduce this new Air Jordan 1 hybrid, I guess I call it. You give the people a very simple colorway that people can match with, and you give a little pop to it. The nice yellow zippering, the nice yellow laces, I'm sure this is gonna come with another pair of laces, and the outsole, which is gray as well too. I think this is a very easy sneaker for people to get used to in terms of wearing, and I think this is a great way for it to enter into the market. Now, in terms of resale, in my opinion, it's hard to say if this is gonna have resale or not. I think we're gonna have to see what other people are saying about the sneaker first before we can even jump to say this is gonna have resale or this is gonna be a complete brick. Personally, I like this new jump. I like this hybrid of Jordan 1s. I like to see brands trying something new that might be like, damn, to other people be like, ah, you know, kind of inspiring to the people who just got onto the sneaker game or just got back into the sneaker game. I think this is really refreshing and I think this is a great way to start off 2021 because you know, not to get too much into it, but the Yeezy brand is gonna be doing some crazy stuff in 2021. So I think this is gonna be a very competitive year for the Jordan and the Yeezy brand. Super excited to see what they're gonna be doing with it next. Now, the way this sneaker uses snaps, Velcros, and zippers, this Air Jordan 1 High can be an Air Jordan 1 Low in seconds. In fact, they've gone to the lengths of actually giving you guys uh, an instruction manual of how to safely deconstruct the upper collar of the sneaker, taking it apart, thus making it a Jordan 1 Low. Now, I think that's pretty cool. You know, in terms of a sneaker, that's really gonna be like, damn, wow, turning heads. Like, I can really see like the new generation of sneaker heads really enjoying the sneaker. But I gotta say, I don't know how the OGs or the people that have been collecting Jordan 1s for so long are going to feel about 
them kind of revolutionizing the Jordan 1 silhouette to the point where it's now a Jordan 1, but it's also a Jordan 1 low. I don't know, we're gonna talk about it a little bit more at the end. Also, something to know about this Air Jordan 1 that can be converted into an Air Jordan 1 Low, it does fit a little slimmer than its original predecessor, just a regular Air Jordan 1 silhouette. This is because when you take off the top collar, the low version of the sneaker just kind of fits like a Jordan 1 Low. So it fits a little slimmer, a little bit more tighter around your foot itself. Now, from pictures, I could tell that the inside of the sneaker itself does have a lot of cushioning and a lot of padding. I guess this is to help the conversion from a high to a low and still keeping your feet nice and comfortable. In terms of sizing, I'm not too sure if this is something that you're gonna wanna go up in size or up half a size if it doesn't actually fit a little smaller. You get what I'm saying? Now, in terms of the release date, it hasn't been booked into the calendar as of yet, but we do know it is coming early 2021. Stay tuned, stay locked in, guys. We'll probably put up on our IG when this sneaker will be releasing on Nike.com. All right, guys, that's about it for me and my talk about the Air Jordan 1 switches that are dropping early 2021. But I definitely want to hear from you guys. What do you guys think of the Nike Air Jordan 1 switch? What do you guys think about it being converted from a high to a low? Do my OGs like it? Do my OGs not feel in this new, you know, hybrid of an Air Jordan 1? How do you guys feel about it? Do you guys think it's gonna have some resale? Do you guys think it's gonna be a complete brick? Or do you think they should really come up with a few other colorways and really get celebrities pushing this kind of Air Jordan 1 and seeing where the market can take it? I definitely wanna hear from you guys. Man, it's been dope chilling with you guys as always, man. It's your boy CJ, Flight for Hype. We here, baby. We out.